Spanish recipe, who's a favorite uh, recipe of my father, and also love it, and also my aunt, Kim Ching Franco's favorite. And this is from Fabulous Cooking, from Eurasian American Recipes with a flair of Hawaii. I'm originally from Hawaii. That's why the first uh, edition, second edition was made there. So the third edition is made here. Okay, and this is, like I said, on page 32. This is really good. First, we start with a good beef, you know. I got sir sirloin because sirloin is uh, more tender than any other steak, besides filet mignon, of course. And then we dress them on a, on a flour. So pala. Okay. Put the flour in there, so every, whatever I finish, you, you know, you put the... Uh, you the meat, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, like that. that yeah, flour. I think. I mean, don't cut it too too big because that's what I did in the first one. It's, it's very chunky. So, okay, there you go. You can see it's a very nice uh, sirloin steak, very tender. You're going to like this. this is another good one. So after we coat it with uh, two tablespoons of flowers, then you know, then we're going to uh, brown it, not fry, brown it. And you know, you have met Paolo before in other cooking segment. She's the one who made the dessert, so she's helping out again here. Okay, once you. Uh, Make sure that all drizzle with the coated with the with flour. Right. We are mm -hmm. working on that right now. Mm -hmm. Well, you can use whatever it's there now. Okay, and then Paula, we don't want your scarf to be burned. Okay. We're going to put the the pot now. Make sure to put a heavy pot because after that you're going to put all the ingredients. Okay. Now they're all covered in flour. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. Let's make it a little bit hotter. Okay, and once this gets warm, let me add a little bit more. Because we want all the beef to be able to, you know. And since this cooking oil is not as bad. Okay, let me know. Let me see. No, it's not good yet. It should be sp sprinkling more. You can hear a loud sound there, you know. So, we need to put this beef and brown it. Only brown it. It's not very hot. This is sticky. And while, while it's doing that, I'm going to be cutting the carrots and the uh, tomatoes. How about that, Paula? Let's do this. Very good. Mm -hmm. and I'll be turning them over as they are brown. Okay, yes. Side. Yes. Make sure that you fill your carrots very well. I feel this, but I guess I did not feel it very well. How are you doing with that? Good. I'm just turning it up, them okay. over because you have brown on the side. Okay. So I got brown past now. Also, when it comes to uh, chopping board, make sure that you use a chopping board for meat only. But if you're cooking the vegetables, you can still use the same chopping board. But if the vegetables is raw, make sure you have a different chopping board for raw vegetables and also for fruit. How is it? It's almost done. So they are okay. So let's check. You cook the turnover. Okay. You okay. didn't get a chance to cook this if I left Hawaii. Brown the garlic. Okay. Add add tomatoes, onions, tomatoes. Okay. Add onions, 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 onions. okay. okay. After that brown, we need to set it aside and put it in the other bowl. So now we transfer that to this bowl? Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh. 
Make sure that you always have a clean bowl that's ready. Okay. We use serving steak in this one, but you can use other steak. But we like serving because it's um, it's very soft. I mean, it's more tender. Okay, from the remaining oil, we're going to say it's today our garlic. Okay, Papa? Yes. You can saute the garlic. I think we need to turn down the uh, thing now. Okay. Yeah. And then what Paula is to take the garlic and the onions, I'm cutting the uh, tomato. Okay, make sure that the um, Garlic is tomato is golden brown. Yes. Okay. And after that, we will add the tomatoes. Well, I like lots of tomatoes, so. I love the aroma of sauteed garlic. Yeah. So it's wafting in a very, very appetizing way. Yep. And I love garlic. Garlic is very healthy for you also. Yes. Let's get the spoon. A large spoon. And that's once it's wilted a little bit, then we add the soy sauce. How are we doing? Good. I think we need to turn on the tomato a little bit more, so more heat. Yes, we need to have more heat. Okay. Okay, let's cover that so it will simmer. Okay. So okay, now let's go to the next one. Let it settle for a few minutes and get cooked. Once the uh, tomato got wilted, then we put back the beef and then the other ingredients and then we wait till it gets uh, tender, we get cooked. Okay, once the tomato is just sauteed, now we put back the beef. Okay, Paula? Yes, put back the beef. Yeah. Okay, and then saute it with the uh, spices, so the spices will go on the beef. I'm telling you, this really is special. Okay, cover it up. Uh, yeah, no, we're going to add water now. Uh, water to cover. And then, you can use salt and pepper also, but uh, for me, I like soy sauce to add in here. So make sure every time you're adding soy sauce, don't put a lot at one time. Just put a little bit. Okay, we did that. And then we put the vinegar. I think we need to increase the flame. Okay. Increase the flame. Yeah, it should be hot. Yeah. And then the vinegar. And then salt and pepper. Pepper. This is Michael's uh, pepper, so. Oh, we don't need salt, we have soy sauce. Okay, I, I mix the bay leaf and also the uh, corn mushroom. I mean, paper corn. <laughs> okay, and you can put it there also and then let it uh, simmer and wait till the beef gets tender. And while we're waiting, doing that, let's cut the sweet potato. Uh, come on, Paula, your arm is longer than me. Okay. So you can cut that. Okay, remember when every time you're going to be cutting potatoes, sweet potatoes, you have to make sure you, you have to put it in a, in a water, cold water so it doesn't turn black because it doesn't look very good when they're black. Okay? I'm sure by the time we finish this, Paula will be expert in cutting the sweet potatoes. Yes, I'm already okay. becoming much better. Okay, good. 
Yeah, Spanish, you know, Spanish recipes have a lot of uh, sweet potato. They like to mix uh, sweet and sour, you know. Then they like to mix also cooking bananas and potatoes. Yes, sweet potatoes. Okay, now that the meat is tender, wow, it smells really good. Maybe you can smell it. Now we're going to add the sweet potatoes. You know, with the vinegar in here earlier before with the sweet potato, so it was just like sweet and sour. And of course, we add the uh, carrots also. And the uh, onions. You know, usually you have to use the small onions here, the one in a bottle, you know. But since I cannot find that last night, so we use the regular onions. That's gonna be good too. So we put it there and then we cover it. And then once this gets tender, then it's already cooked. Then we can have uh, Palo's dessert, you know, once we did that. Okay, now, it's the, the beef is tender, the sweet potato is tender. It smells so good. Oh, I'm telling you, it's really good. Mm. So after you cook this, you transfer this into this square bowl, okay? So people can see. It's really delicious. And you put this on top of brown rice, or if you like white rice, that's fine too, but uh, brown rice is very healthy. So that's what I'm eating all the time. So this sauce will be perfect for this. Mm. Okay, let's put this here and add more of the other sauce. See, it's beautiful color also because of the sweet potato and the carrots and the uh, onions. What do you think, Paula? It looks spectacular and it smells absolutely really? fantastic. That's right, it's terrific. It's delicious. Very enticing. Yeah. Okay, let's get that closer so that our audience can see how good it looks. Okay, now, as you know, Paula was uh, earlier, made this uh, beautiful, uh, you know, cheesecake. Yes, it's a featherless cheesecake. A featherless cheesecake recipe from Poland when she was growing up. So she's going to serve it, and we're going to eat this dessert, uh, in, you know, after we had the beef estofado. What's is another Spanish dish? So we have a Spanish dish and Polish dish. How about that? That's international. Right. Call it international. Yeah. So here's the big moment. We are cutting the cheesecake. Okay. And we are going to then spoon it out into these bowls. Yes. And while Paula is doing that, we want to show you um, Michael's uh, painting. This is, an, uh, this is an abstract painting of Michael Dorados. So all this information of what we're doing here and Paula's information and where to get our cookbook is going to be at the end of the, um, the, the cooking segment. So it will show everything there, how you can acquire any of our product and where you can get our recipes. Okay, we'll see you in the next segment.